G'day everybody, welcome back to our playthrough of Valheim. I think it's episode 82, maybe? <laughs> Sorry guys, I, uh, I've lost track. Anyway, um, what are we up to? Well, we've just come back here for a bit of a rest, really, and uh, tried to avoid the night uh, before sort of going back and continuing with our work. Uh, in the previous episode, we have sort of made uh, a bit of a start on, you know, trying to get that second story up and running, but uh, I did uh, realize that um, I probably mentioned this several episodes ago. Uh, back when we started the build for house number three and uh, we we're playing around with the flooring of the place and then I sort of changed things to have it sort of uh, become stone flooring instead of wooden flooring and I think at that point I said uh, we'll maybe use wooden flooring for the bedroom so good thing I remembered that because if that's the case then we're gonna need to uh, think about putting some wooden flooring around this space uh, instead of, uh, you know, putting the the stone floors that I was about to do. <laughs> so luckily I've remembered. But uh, anyway, uh, before we get going with uh, putting flooring down and stuff like that, let's continue working on... Oh god, well... I guess maybe we're going to have to continue working on getting ourselves unstuck. But uh, we've got a lot of stone in here. Uh, so we should be able to just continue building walls for the moment. Uh, but then I think uh, once we're sort of satisfied with where the walls get up to, we're going to have to start thinking about putting in the, the wooden floors. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is going to go even higher than what we've currently got, right? So, uh, I'm just also sort of thinking about whether or not um, we need to do anything further with uh, our chimney here. Because our chimney is technically, like, sandwiched or squashed up against uh, the bigger structure behind it. Uh, I suppose, look, that, that might be okay. Uh, the other thing is, we also got our forge set up in the previous episode, so we do need to start thinking about incorporating some, uh, I guess, iron wood poles and uh, beams. So I'm not 100% sure how that's all going to work, uh, but I think let's start with just uh, the things that we are familiar with. So building walls. Um, yeah, let, let's start maybe with uh, this section here. Just make sure that we can uh, divide the rooms. Okay, that does not look right. Okay, good times. So, yeah, I guess we are at the height that we need to be. Uh, I'm keen on maybe just fixing up the wall around this side. Uh, and this is going to be a bit finicky, I think. But let's, let's start with just this one layer first. Um, just sort of thinking what needs to happen here. I think that needs to happen... Uh, like so, and like so, and yeah, we do something like that. Uh, all right, um. 
Maybe we're gonna have to get rid of that wood or uh, the stack of wood there and just move it for a second. And I'm just thinking how we're gonna sort of utilize this space. Um, Does that even hold? I suppose it is holding. Do we want to maybe do that and then we can do one of these longer pieces? Oh, I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? Maybe we should go with... Something like that, maybe. Okay, so, yeah, that looks okay. Uh, I was thinking maybe we might have to prop it up with uh, some some poles. Uh, but I don't think that's necessary, actually. It does seem to hold up. Um, Uh, that, that's not even at the same height. <laughs> My bad, guys. Alright, we'll, we'll fix that up. Um, That's not right. I think we need one of those one by ones. Okay, and we're out of stone. All right, so <laughs> since we're out of stone, uh, I think we can move on to, uh, oh, actually there's, there's a bit of stone here. So we've got 50 stone. Okay, good. Uh, at the very least, we can try and fix all of this up. Uh, what do we have going on on this side? Okay, one by one block. And then we do that, and I think it's another one by one block here. If I'm not mistaken. Uh, I'm just gonna take that down because I'm not confident that it is a one by one block. I think maybe we may have used like a... a two by one there, which... Might be a little bit inefficient, so we do something like that. Okay, good times. Um, so now, I think we'll just continue until all of the walls are around about the same height. Which is the height of where the flooring is going to be. I can see something sort of glowing and shining in here. Okay. I think that should have fixed the issue. Uh, yeah, I think we'll continue to use the 2x1s here. One by one over here. Or if we do a two by uh, one, I think. Yeah, actually, that sort of sits quite flush together. So that that's actually pretty good. 
I wonder if I should have done that for um, the lower pieces here as well. <laughs> um, maybe. Okay, uh, our stones just disappear somewhere. Okay, so apparently those stones were not returned to us. I, I don't know why. Is it behind the stone cutter? Okay, well, it appears that the stones have potentially disappeared. Look, uh, as tempting as it is to continue working on the flooring right now, I feel like we need to get the stone stuff right first. So uh, let me just continue with the stone work uh, and we'll sort of circle back around to doing the flooring later. And uh, yes, I am being cheap here on not consuming onion soup. But I think we could get away with it. Okay, uh, yeah, more stone here. Let's just grab that. Uh, and also from the Great Wars. May as well grab all of that as well. Yeah, I don't think I want to try and continue getting stones from where the copper is, because um, if I do that, I feel like the copper may actually weigh us down a little bit, and I would prefer bringing back stone rather than copper. I, I uh, never knew that I would be saying that, actually. <laughs> Considering the way we start this game and how we don't really know what to use a lot of that stone for, uh, you know, there's a tendency, I think, for a lot of new players, um, new to the game, that is, uh, to perhaps maybe get rid of stacks of stone, not knowing how useful it would be later on. I suppose now I'm sort of thinking back about a lot of people's comments, uh, telling me to keep absolutely everything, but you know what, um, to be fair, I think... Uh, when you play this game, you might actually go through phases. There's a lot of things here that are um, kind of easy to come by, including the the stones, right? Um, there's no shortage of stuff. Uh, even ores, uh, there definitely feels like there's no shortage of ores everywhere. Um, so, you know, you just don't get that sense at the beginning of the game. So uh, I don't think it's such a bad thing to to leave things when you need to leave things and prioritize what you should bring. All right, so we've got more stone, probably 
uh, too much stone for what we really need, but uh, that's okay, it's better to have too much. Uh, so let's fix up what we've got going around here. So I think maybe we should just be focusing on using 2x2 two two pieces. Um, Yeah, I think that looks fine. Ah, okay, now now I get it. The stones are actually sitting above the areas that we've uh, we've destroyed. <laughs> okay, good good to know for next time. Um, all right, so let's actually put some of this stone down. Don't need all of that stone with us right now pick all of the wood back up and uh, yeah we'll, we'll start working on the flooring of our bedroom we've got I think a gigantic bedroom up here uh, there's a lot of space um, I, I'm not entirely sure about keeping uh, all of this brick up here actually because uh, the, the way I'm thinking about this is uh, I'm gonna do obviously flooring like so um, well we, we definitely want to make sure that we can actually enter the space from where the stairs are going to okay yeah that, that looks good matches up very nicely um, Yeah, so what I was thinking is, if we're going to do that, we might need to get rid of some of these bricks because we can definitely see stone sort of jutting out. And, uh, you know, that was one of the main reasons for the decision of uh, going with stone flooring uh, in the Great Hall rather than using wood. As much as I like wooden flooring. Stone's not bad, but you know, it just gives off a very cold vibe though. Oh, by the way guys, I'm, I'm definitely not going to do any farming in this episode. I feel like, uh, as I mentioned in the previous one, I think we can get a, uh, away with not doing some farming for at least one episode. Um, Okay, so that's roughly how it's going to appear. Um, I might uh, do what I said I was going to do here with the stone uh, walls over this side. Um, yeah, that way we won't have any clipping and stuff like that. Now we do need to sort of figure out how we're going to divide the wall on the upper section of this wall uh, and it'll probably just be some kind of wooden sort of structure um, I'm just sort of thinking how I'm going to be able to sort of divide this section in half and I want to be able to sort of put some wooden pieces that would act as a bit of a guide um, so I think that's going to be important yeah okay that that works I think what we'll do with that is we'll then start um, putting I don't know we, we could potentially put like these uh, core wood logs just like that uh, I, I sort of want to see how it looks um, when we put like some flooring down I don't 
see it sort of protruding anywhere, so that's exactly what we want. Alright, um, it is sort of getting dark though, so I am keen on working in the sunlight. Uh, plus we probably need to fetch some food. Uh, we need to fetch some wood as well apparently. There we go. Alright, well it is officially night, so why don't we go back, we'll have a rest. We'll uh, gather up some food. Uh, we do have brutes and stuff spawning and uh, I really don't want them to make life hard for us with uh, maybe destroying the uh, the portal. We do need deer meat. Got six deer meat. Not bad, actually. Now, can someone tell me why the Brutes have a, uh, a dandelion on their heads? Like, it seems a little bit weird to me, but anyway. Um, yeah, we've got quite a lot of resins now. It's good. Uh, Alright, let's head back. Actually, we've got a couple of storage chests. Uh, ooh, okay, we can definitely keep that. This, uh, we could probably eat that. Alright. Let's head back. Uh, another thing that we do need to start thinking about at this point is how we're going to funnel out uh, the smoke from the hearth. Because, uh, yeah, I guess we're going to have to build some kind of a chimney and that chimney is probably going to, uh, you know, it's, it's probably going to need to form part of the uh, the upper stories or the, the upper floors so yeah we're gonna have to think about how that all works um boar meat what are we gonna do with this boar meat uh maybe i can make some sausages with the boar meat i think we only need one right for a batch of sausages Good times. Um, let me just drop that. And uh, I don't want to use all of the wood, but I want to make some coal just in case we're going to need some coal. Um, yeah, we've still got a little bit of wood to work with. Alright, let's sort out our food. Um, so, we do need maybe some sausages. Maybe we'll have some turnip stews. Um, and, yeah, I think as I said last time, we don't really have another source of HP that's expendable, quote unquote. Uh, so,. I think I'm gonna just make some more stews. Might as well keep going here because uh, there's no point in just keeping the cooked deer meat 
sitting around. Okay, good times. Uh, maybe let's split this out. Chuck things away. Entrails. Go there. Yeah, looking good. A lot of Grey Dwarf eyes here. Um, again, I, I guess I could make some ice creams, but uh, the problem with that is I'll need more of these um, freeze glands. I guess it's not too difficult to find drakes in the mountains, but along with those drakes we would have wolves as well, and um, I don't exactly feel like dealing with wolves right now. Um, should we drop some more food in here? Uh, I'm not entirely sure. I will leave these piggies be. We've got plenty of boar meat right now for our purposes, so uh, we don't need to rush into that. Uh, let's head back and let's do what we can here. So. I think we've got a, a pretty good idea about how to divide the two rooms. Uh, but then, having said that, I don't know if I can really use just core woods uh, to separate the rooms. Especially with the need to funnel smoke uh, above the hearth. So. Maybe we'll need to start thinking about how we're going to deal with this. Uh, I reckon I want some iron poles. Iron wooden poles. Uh, which means that I'll need to fetch that. I think that's a good start. Shut the door. Make sure none of those Grey Dwarves follow us inside. Uh, and yeah, so... How do we do this? Um, I'm thinking something like that, uh, and that should sort of hold up um, any additional bricks that we decide to put above it, I think. <laughs> um, don't really quote me on that, guys, because uh, I'm really just sort of playing around with stuff right now. So I suppose we don't need brick on this side. So maybe I could uh, get rid of some of these. Maybe that's not required, but let's play around with putting brick above this side. And I, I don't want it to be too low because we do need uh, to be able to cook here as well, right? So. Um, uh, where is our cooking station here? Yes, yeah, so we'll need some chains there, but that's roughly how big it's going to be. Uh, we could grab some chains from back at house number two and construct this right now. Um, but I think we've got a pretty good reference here. Let's just... Okay, I'll... Uh, that failed. Why? Why did it fail? Um, I 
Okay, so that worked. It's giving us red though. Oh, actually no, it's... It's okay now. Um... Hmm. Okay, yeah, I, I see what's going on. So, this uh, beam here is not even affecting this, uh, this uh, brick wall. So, um, maybe having the beams on this side is irrelevant, potentially. weird. Why, uh, why is it making all of those sounds? Anyway. Hmm. Let's, uh, let's try and replicate what we've got on this side. Um. Maybe it's gonna be easier if we do this first. Maybe. Okay, uh, I don't really know if we're doing the right thing. Possibly. It seems like every time we we jump on top of the hearth, we seem to be doing a little bit of damage to it or something like that. Interesting. Um, alright, so... Now we're going to have to sort of think about how the smoke moves further up. Um, let's get rid of that piece for a second. And... Yeah, actually... I'm gonna have to get rid of the core wood as well. Maybe even these two pieces here. And uh, the reason for that is I I'm planning to do something similar to what we had uh, going with this chimney uh, and to actually move the smoke by one tile and the reason for that is because I, I sort of want uh, you know I, I guess I want to have the chimney to be centered if that makes sense um, I know it it probably is inefficient though uh, there's probably no need for it to be that way. Okay. Definitely fell off there. Complete failure. Uh, actually, no, that, that, that's not right. We need the smoke to keep moving. I don't know why I did that. Um, need that there. And... Or we could do that. Yeah, this is going to be a little bit tricky, guys. But I sort of need sections coming out like that.
And I'm sort of thinking about, you know, aligning things with the other chimney. Ah, yes, we need stone. Uh, so, how are we going to do that? Well, I mean, this just needs to sort of come out. Like so. I think we're getting there. So yeah, that that's the idea. Uh, again, I have no idea if the smoke is actually going into the right space. Uh, we haven't had any issues with smoke inhalation around here. I, I don't know if if that's a problem up there. Uh, but I guess maybe this house is big enough for the smoke to sort of dissipate a little bit more. But yeah, I haven't seen any comments from you guys saying whether or not the, the smoke is actually being delivered outside or not, or whether or not we've made some mistake. Uh, and, uh, you know, if we've made a critical error, then obviously there's going to be a lot of rework to do, but... Um, this is the idea, guys. Uh, I think it looks okay. <laughs> uh... We've got five minutes on some of the other foods here. I think we'll just leave it. And, uh... Yeah, let's, uh... Further build all of this up. Um, chimneys getting weaker and weaker, it seems. Uh, maybe we do need those iron uh, poles. Uh, or does it make sense to use, like, that? Does that improve anything? I don't really know if it is improving. Uh, could do beams like that that could potentially help uh how do we achieve that it was snapping somehow Why did it snap on that side? Uh, probably because we have a smaller one-by-one uh, one block on this side.
Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'm not a hundred percent sure on on how this is all gonna work out, guys. But I sort of want to. Uh, let's just say decorate a little bit, make things look nice. Kind of. Uh, what if we use just the normal wooden beams here? Maybe I go with one of these from that corner. Is that sticking out though? That's a really good question. Kind of. It kind of is sticking out. A very, very small amount. Do we care? Uh, I, I kind of do. <laughs> Sorry guys, I feel like I'm just like playing around with stuff, mucking about, and uh, I'm not really achieving anything here. Why don't we do that? That kind of looks alright. Okay, cool. Uh, so this is going to be our primary cooking station. Um, I just had a thought, guys, but we also need to set up a space for uh, the cauldron. And uh, if we are going to do that, I feel like maybe having the cauldron sit side by side uh, with the hearth uh, is probably a good idea uh, and I should have thought about this a little bit earlier but um, yeah I'm sort of thinking whether or not I could maybe squeeze the cauldron somewhere here I don't know if I should just set it up on the floor over here, or how it should be exactly. Um, that doesn't look too bad uh, but yeah I might need to rethink the um, the chimney a little bit more because we now have some smoke coming in from the cauldron as well unless we can sort of do something to sort of control where the smoke moves to
I don't know if that even makes sense, guys. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, because I'm also not keen on trying to make a gigantic chimney either. <laughs> Preferably, I would like the chimney to be that size. Um, so I'm sort of trying to control where the smoke goes. Hopefully that does the trick. Um, Probably need a little bit of wood here, which we do not have. Oh, great, great, just, just brilliant. Um, there we go. Fix that problem, I think. Tiny little bit of wood. Let's see. Um, let's do something like that. Maybe we can get rid of that piece of core wood right there. Maybe that's not required. So I think that might be blocking some of the smoke. Uh, hopefully this works. But yeah, this is going to be where the cauldron goes. Then we'll have all of the smoke from all of the cooking stations sort of go up uh, where it needs to go. Uh, and yeah, now hopefully we should be able to continue working on the chimney on this side. I mean, the true test is going to be whether or not we start inhaling smoke later on down the track. Okay, it's dark already. I feel like maybe we should be uh, going back, sleeping, coming back when there's a little bit more light. Uh, how many iron bars do we have? Okay, we've still got five. Oh yeah, it's the iron bars are uh, holding us back here. Yeah, now I uh, sort of totally get why a lot of people were saying uh, to get as much iron as possible because we literally need all of this iron now to build this house. And uh, I've also seen a few comments in the past sort of saying, well, you know, to address uh, how to start building, you know, some people might actually build frames even before they start putting bricks down because uh, by doing iron wood frames I can see how you would just basically strengthen the entire structure up significantly. Uh, I feel like if we have a troll attack sure they might not be able to break walls and stuff like that immediately but I feel like if there are a few of them there and they just keep wailing away they could potentially get through. So, uh, yeah, maybe those iron uh, wooden poles and stuff like that would help in those situations. But uh, anyway. Uh, we sort of need more wood. Um, but before that, I might actually just place down a chest. Okay, we, we actually need 10 wood for that, so we can't really do that right now.
wonder if it's wise to leave some of our stuff here. Okay, let's explore a little bit. Let's see if we can get ourselves some more wood. Gonna need it for the next episode anyway. Um, got stump here. Might as well get rid of this. Okay, um, so someone also mentioned that uh, these smaller trees that I sort of mentioned look like saplings, apparently they don't grow into full-fledged trees. Um, I'm not entirely sure if they respawn at all. Uh, it'd be nice if they did, and we wouldn't really have any sh uh, shortage of uh, sources of wood. Uh, I can't remember if it's the fir trees that give us a normal uh, wood or if it's the pine trees. I think it's the fir trees actually. Let's go with this one. This one's pretty big. Hopefully it'll give us quite a lot. Two twenty-seven. Yeah, we can still keep going. Getting close to the mountains here, just a little bit anxious about wolves. I guess wolves aren't really too much of a problem anymore, considering our armor, but uh, they do stagger us quite a lot, don't they, when they attack, and that's really the, the crux of the problem. Okay, good times. Uh, 408. Maybe just one more tree. I think we should be right. And we might be calling it an episode very soon here, guys, because uh, I think I've been playing for almost an hour. Or maybe even a little bit further than an hour. But I seriously want to get this, like, floor in. I mean, 
Again, I, I keep saying that I'm addicted to the building. Oh god. Alright, yep. Alright, do you have any friends? No. Check that. Alright. One star deer. Can we get it? Yep. Um, probably don't really have space to be carrying stuff though. Um, let's go with the meat. Okay, well, uh, we're definitely having an issue here. Um, we sort of need stones, but I think I can get rid of some of the stones because I will likely come back here and pick it back right up again at some point. So maybe it's not such a bad idea to just leave it behind for the time being. All right, so, um, oh no. And what what's going on here? Is that what what on earth? Ah, oh, that's the um, yeah. Uh, I I get it. That's the the roofing sticking out. Um. All right. Well, we have to think about how to fix that problem. Um. Let's see if that fixed it. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, this piece though, yeah, I'm not entirely sure about that piece. Uh, we could potentially sort of disguise it with something. Uh, probably just need to replace that with an, a bigger hole like so or maybe not Just trying something here, guys. But, uh, I'm sort of thinking maybe I can do something like that. Would that makes sense.
I don't know, it de definitely looks like it's still sort of hovering a little bit, doesn't it? Maybe if I do that and... Nope. Nope. Um. Yeah, it looks weird, doesn't it? Um. That looks much better. Uh, if I go with a smaller one, yeah, okay, that's gonna be a problem as well. Try to get that lower camera angle, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to actually place it where I want. Um, I think this works. I'm okay with that. Okay. Cool. Wow. Uh, that took a, a while to figure out. Um, and I'm sure perhaps maybe there's still going to be a bit more work trying to get these uh, wooden iron poles in, but uh, let's continue with the floor, shall we? It's been a while. Uh, so, yeah. Um, I think if we do something like that, it shouldn't sort of stick out within the... Um, within the chimney itself, but um, I just want to make sure. Yeah, okay, so we can do like smaller pieces in some sections. I think for here, I think it makes sense to do that. Uh, and then we can do some smaller sections here. continue onwards here. Okay, good. Um, let's go around this side. Just repeat the process here. Okay, coming along kind of nicely here. Uh, we'll probably need some smaller sections there. Uh, again, we have the the problem of what to do in the middle section to divide the rooms, and I'm still thinking that we should go with uh, some core wood couple of core wood beams like so uh, we'll probably do it and we'll probably sort of repeat the process on this side um, let's do a repair here my goodness all right uh, yeah we, we've been playing for a while haven't we <laughs> Alright guys, well I think I'm going to call this an episode when we come back 
uh, I think we're going to continue uh, our work on the upper levels here and obviously the chimney is going to continue to go up and uh, yeah I, I think it'll be good. Uh, hopefully I think I've resolved the smoke issues for uh, our primary cooking station and uh, let, let's hope that there's not really going to be any other issues there. Uh, but yeah, we'll see. If there are, then obviously we'll try and fix those issues when we come back. But uh, anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed uh, the episode and the series so far. Uh, leave a like, a dislike, or a comment or two down below. As usual, stay true, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.